Hello everyone, Ivan here with another new update for Derail Valley, build number 64. In build 64, we've added quite a few new things and features, with the biggest of them being the all new save game system. With the updates to the save game system, the game now saves all cars position and state, whether they're part of a job or not. It also saves the progress of current ongoing jobs, so that if you have to stop and take a breather from shoveling coal, you can pick up right where you left off. Please note that both fuel remaining and damage to locomotives are still currently not saved. This will be added in a future update. Previously, if you fell under the water, you had to use the respawn button to get back to the surface world. Now, the game will automatically detect this, and teleport you to the last place you were standing, as long as there was solid ground there before. For now though, the game will only move you back if you fall past the water level, so if you're stuck, we added a command, player.move to last good position, which can be used in the console to move you back to solid earth. A lot of other smaller things were fixed as well, such as no longer shuffling your inventory on restarts, the lost and found shed eating your items during the tutorial, and being able to duplicate your wallet. No more counterfeiting. All the smaller changes can be seen in the change log. As of filming, the community is only a thousand or so points away from the next reward goal, the diesel locomotive. The pace has only been increasing since launch, so I'm sure it won't be long. That's all for today's update. Drive safe, and we'll see you in the valley.